What is up, guys? This is Luke with LP Cubing, and today we're checking out Lubical Black. Alright, so I went ahead and laid down some paper towels because Lubical Black has black, and it can get pretty messy. So this lube just came out, and I am super excited to check it out. It is a new core lube designed by the Cubica Labs. Um, there were a lot of tests done on it, if you've seen those videos. This is the officially released version, so I'm really excited to see how this performs. So it comes with a little card here, read before use. Instructions. Lubical Black is a coral lube designed specifically for metal to metal and metal to plastic contact. For best results, apply a small drop under the head of each screw and then apply a small drop on the bottom of each centerpiece where the screw meets the plastic. Caution. The lube stains keep away from garments. To remove lube from your skin or other surfaces, wash thoroughly, rub with silicone oil, then rinse with soap and water. Also, another way you can wash Lubical Black off, I've heard, is to use Lubical Wand. This is the newly released kit that comes with rubber gloves. It also comes with a cap to put on it for storage and, and also a syringe tip for pouring. All right, so the tip screws off and then you put on the syringe tip right there. Already some lube is coming out. And we have two puzzles that we're going to be testing this lube on today. We have a Chi Yi Sale and an MF3 RS2 that we unboxed. I'll leave the link to that video in the description below. Let's go ahead and start with the Chi Yi Sale. So this is a budget 3x3. Sorry, I can't really um, turn it in gloves. And it performed very well for a budget 3x3, but it's also very sandy and kind of dry. So we're going to go ahead and see how Lubica Black performs on it. So the first part of leaving a core is to disassemble the puzzle. So as mentioned before, we had a couple key points. We had one under the stock right here, and one under the screw where we're going to lube. So I find it easier to lube a core when the core is disassembled. So we'll just go ahead and do this. So we put a drop in here, and man, that stuff comes out fast. That's something else I heard about this lube. So we have a piece there, drop in our screw, then we place it back on the puzzle and screw it in again. And then the other point where we loop was in between the core and the piece. Well, I'm just barely pressing and this stiff stuff is coming out like crazy. Let me just go ahead and work it in there. Let me go ahead and get a little bit of that off. And then we just repeat the process for all the other pieces. And there we go, break it in. And this core has now been lubed. So we'll put this puzzle together and see how it performs. All right, so here's the Chi Yi sail, completely lubricated, reassembled. I have yet to do turns. Let's go ahead and get into this. Oh my gosh. Wow, I'm, that is absolutely incredible. It is so much faster, so much smoother. It, let's see, it it even improved the corner cutting. I know that uh, I tensioned this cube pretty much the same, and it even improved the corner cutting. Wow, it just feels so much nicer of a quality. It's so much faster, it's so much smoother. I had no idea that leaving a core could do so much to a puzzle. All right, so I went ahead and solved it, and you can just see how well this Chi Yi sale performs. And keep in mind, this is a Chi Yi sale. It is a $5 budget puzzle designed for, you know, people who are trying to get a half decent speed cube for a good price. And it, like, amped it up so much. It made it so much better. It made it a lot quicker when it was a lot more sluggish. 
it made it a lot smoother when it was a lot more sandy. It just feels a really excellent quality for a budget cube. Although the cheese sale was a good budget cube before, it had quite a bit of issues. It was really sandy, not good corner cutting at all. And you could really tell that it was a budget cube. But after just looping the core with this lubricant, it greatly improved this puzzle so much. Before it could not corner cut 45, it could maybe do this much. Now it is going a little bit over 45. Reverse corner cutting. I'm getting a little bit ambitious there. Reverse also improved before it could barely do anything. So what this lube did to this cube is truly amazing. I would highly, highly recommend getting this lube for your puzzles. Now let's go ahead and test it out on another puzzle, the MF3RS2. So here is the MF3RS2 core that has now been lubed, and this was so much easier and so much quicker to lube than the cheese seal because you don't actually have to take these screws out because there's quite a bit of distance in between them and the cap and you can just poke that needle through there and lube it like that. Let's go ahead and reassemble this and see how it performs. All right, so here's the MF3RS2 lube. I was pretty disappointed when I unboxed this puzzle because it really just didn't live up to expectations. It wasn't that great, so I'm wondering how much this will improve it. Oh my gosh. This is just incredible. What this lube can do, because I, this cube honestly was not that great before. It was extremely sluggish, really dry was not performing well at all. I barely even began to break this puzzle in and after using Lutica Black, it tremendously, tremendously improved it. I'm extraordinarily satisfied with this lubricant and I would highly, highly recommend it in any setup of any puzzle. That's pretty much all for my review of Lubica Black. As always, the link to purchase his lubricant will be in the description below. And overall, it's a really, really good lube. I'm definitely impressed with it, and I would definitely recommend it to set up your puzzle. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.